Cameroon volcanoes and volcanic fields. Mount Cameroon. Mount Cameroon is an active volcano in Cameroon near the Gulf of Guinea. Mount Cameroon is also known as Mount Cameroon Mountain or Thakul. It is the highest point in the Sub-Saharan, Western and Central Africa, the fourth most prominent peak in Africa, and the 31st most prominent in the world. The mountain is part of the area of volcanic activity known as Cameroon Volcanic Line, which also includes Lake Nyos, the site of the disaster in 1986. The most recent eruption occurred on February 3rd, 2012. Let's get an idea. Get an idea how how tall this is. And let's see if we have any views on this one. We do, so let's go up here. And that's one view. Let me see if we have another one. We'll go over here. Looking for people here. Wow, looks like the clouds right here. Uh, moving on to the next one. Enup. Enup. I couldn't find any info on it, however it is listed as a volcano for that area, so this is what it looks like. Our next one is Mount Meninguba. This is a volcano in the southwest province of Cameroon. You can also see we have Lake Menengubo here. Let's we'll see if we have any views on this one. And we do, we have one there. Sorry you guys, I don't do the pictures on this.
And moving on to Nangdiri Plateau. Nangdiri Plateau is the highland area of the Andawa and Damwa region of Cameroon. It contains Tushbal Naganda, a large volcano, and many other recent volcanic structures. And this is Tushbal. Nangana over here. Moving on to Oku Volcanic Field. And we'll be back to the other one in a minute. Okuko Volcanic Field is a, lar is a group of volcanoes based on a swell of the Cameroon Volcanic Line, located in the Oku region of the western high plateau of Cameroon. The Mount Oku Stratovolcano rises to 3,011 meters above sea level. Sorry, I'm too fast. And moving on to Tishbal Nangaha. Tushbal Nangaha is a stratovolcano in the Ndiri Plateau, a highland area of the Andamwa region of Cameroon. And as we were just looking at it. And some have views and some do not, so can't see this one. And moving on to the next one, Tombell Graven. Back out a little bit. Tumbel Graden is a Holocene young cinder cones and Mars dot the low lying Tumbel Graben, also referred to as Tumbel Plain, between Mount Cameroon and Mount Meninguba. Mount Coupe, composed of tertiary sinite, dominates the area, rising to over 2,000 meters. Activity began with the emission of large lava flows over a basement of Precambrian metamorphic rocks and crustaceous sandstones and concluded with the explosive activity forming numerous cinder cones. The 800 kilometer volcanic field which erupted basaltic, basalt, basaltic and basaltic and trachea basaltic rocks contains three large lake filled Mars including Morambi Mbo, a compound Mar near the town of Kumba. Legends record an eruption of Le Juno, also known as Mount Pele, that destroyed a village through a small craterless cone, is marked along a fault line on the map of Lincono. 
It's unclear what cone is being described by the legend because no noticeably younger or unvegetative cones are apparent in satellite imagery. Two samples taken from Nimbabwe near and farther southwest part of the field were archon dated as possible Holocene. Through error is too large to be definitive. And you can see if you have Tom Bell Graven is here. And then it looks to be a town on top of it. This is Mount Coupe here. And you guys, that completes the end of the Cameroon video. If you enjoyed this, please like and subscribe, and we will be back with Cape Verde. Thank you, and have a good day.